Now, the last storm we had actually was a pretty good one for snowpack across the area here. We've seen a nice boost in our snowpack given this last system that came through. Check out what's going on here. We're now up to 87 inches at the Wolf Creek Snow Tell in southwestern Colorado. That's up 38%, 43% increase thanks to this last storm at Hopewell. Now, a lot of these numbers look good on the increase because we've been so low to start with, but at least we've added over a foot at Taos Powderhorn and the Santa Fe Snow Teller, at least close to it. So that brought us up nicely. You want some deceptive numbers? Check out what's going on in the Sacramento Mountains. We had about two inches of snow at the Snow Teller at Sierra Blanca before this last storm. We now have 13 inches, of course, and that's an increase of 550%. So again, take some of this with a grain of salt, but it is good to see. 44 degrees in the metro area. Winds right now are calm. Temperatures 30s and 40s off to the north, down to the south, 30s and 40s as well. We do have another weather system headed in our direction. It's coming into California, doing a pretty good job of creating some rain and snow there. It's not going to be that great once it gets toward us. Our problem is, as this thing slides in, even though it looks good now, is the track number one's a little too far to the north to really come squarely through the state. Number two, given what it's going to have left for us, we're not going to be looking at a great deal of moisture from this. But tomorrow during the late afternoon and and overnight hours, we could see some snow showers across the northern mountains and a few inches of snow. The farther north you go into southwestern Colorado, you could do a little bit better. Then we watch the weather pattern, and could we be looking? I look, I look really good in this shot, Jess. I look oh. really good as Costanza. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're yeah, welcome. Looks... Let's just drink that oh, in. Oh, you just... do look really. I good. do look good. Uh -huh. You're welcome, by the way, to be able to work with with that. Okay. Too bad Dick's not here to see this. No, no, no. I, Dick's show. always looking at it. But you, I mean, you're making this work. Yeah. But anyway, the point is, could we be looking at a rerun here with another big time weekend storm? Well, models disagree a little bit. One says, eh, it's going to skim across the north. We'd see some action across northeastern New Mexico Friday and into Saturday with most of us getting breezy and cooler conditions here. However, there's another model that says, wait a minute, this thing's going to drop a little farther down into the state. It's going to be a bigger player across the board here for Friday and into Saturday. Could well mean some southern mountain snow, northern mountain snow, and some valley rain showers. So we're going to watch this throughout the week because it could be very interesting for another good weekend storm. 50s across southern Colorado, and again, chance for some especially San Juan snow, another round over the weekend. 60 in Grants, 58 in Farmington, 61 out in Gallup, partly cloudy west winds 10 to 15 across the southwest for tomorrow. Things looking pretty good. Sun and clouds, nice conditions and temperatures hanging in the 60s. Over to the southeast, partly cloudy winds out of the south 10 to 15. Temperatures all the way into the mid 70s throughout the week. 50s and 60s across the northeast and we'll watch the weekend for a better shot at some showers. Northern mountains, 40s, 50s and 60s, mostly cloudy. Again, some spot snow showers possible, maybe some light resort accumulations. East mountains, increasing clouds. We could see a sprinkle or two, but that's nothing I'd plan around or worry about. Here in the metro area, afternoon clouds, mild conditions and temperatures in the low 60s. Looks pretty good here through Thursday when temperatures get all the way up to 70 and then we'll track that next storm.